This is Kaizen Tutorials. He's a YouTuber with over 8 million views that makes Blender related videos that are not only extremely entertaining, but very helpful as well. And today I interviewed him with seven main questions that increasingly become more and more difficult to answer. So stay tuned for the last one. But before we get there, Kaizen, when did you first start using Blender? I think for me personally, I started using back in 2.79. I'm not sure how long ago that is, but I think it's around five years ago. Right, right. So was there any like specific motivation to begin or what were you doing up to that point? AK, was there something that triggered you to begin? No, I just enjoy 3D in general and all the, the sort of freedom that comes with it. I used to do 2D um, graphic design stuff and I've done it for close to 20 years. So I was just kind of bored with 2D design and I wanted something right. else and 3D was like the next challenge. Okay, cool. So how long did it take you to actually start getting results in Blender or like get good at it? I think the honest answer here is I still don't feel comfortable. Even today, if somebody asked me, could you make X in a day or two, I would still be like, uh, I don't know if I can do that. You know, there's so many things you can do in Blender that there's always something you're not good at. Largely, I felt comfortable with like the UI and the tools and, and everything that comes with Blender in about a year. Okay, okay. And as for how you learned Blender, uh, what method did you use to start learning the software? I'm not sure what the English word exactly is, but... Um, Autodidact? Is that a word? Self-teaching? I've, I've never heard it, but... Okay, oh, you okay. never heard okay. Self-teaching, yeah. So basically, yeah. Uh, whenever I learn something new, I just usually dive into it. I did not do the donut series. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so basically I just dove in Blender and just messed around a whole lot. I watched a few videos every now and then whenever I ran into a problem, whenever I needed to look up like a shortcut or something basic that I didn't know how to do yet, but mostly it's just me messing around in blunder right and is that the same method you recommend to other beginners to start learning as well yeah i have a video on that actually um my advice for everybody who wants to learn blunder is watch maybe a handful of tutorials whatever they are it doesn't really matter then come up with something you want to do so think of a project that sounds interesting to you and just go and make it and look up everything you don't know. And if you do follow like the donut series, for example, try not to do a simple donut, but try to do a cinnamon roll or try to do some other pastry that's sort of donut shaped just to sort of take the so knowledge that Blender Guru is presenting, but apply it to something else. Okay, perfect. So as for AI, have you used it a lot recently? Like, have you gotten the chance to mess around with it? Uh, a little bit. I've used AI tools for rigging. I've used AI tools for mocap, but that's about it. Cool. Um, and to answer the question that everybody's been wondering, do you think AI will replace Blender artists? No, I think that's the biggest misconception there is when it comes to AI. Yes, some jobs will become obsolete for sure but those tend to be the jobs with very re repetitive tasks like the rigging to most people is not that fun basically animation and getting the stuff done is is more fun so yeah an, an automated tool that just does the rigging for you i don't see any harm in that i just see a way for me to skip the part i don't like and get into the stuff i do like have you heard of luna ai's genie no Okay, so it's basically an AI that can generate 3D models through a Discord server, pretty similar to like uh, Mid Journey. Um, either way, though, you should definitely check that out. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I, again, I feel like something like that could potentially cost a few jobs, but in the end, I strongly believe that we as humans like to create, and because we like to create, there's no reason to replace us with AI. Okay, real quick to all y'all watching this, I sell a ton of products all totaling to around 600 bucks, which is just way too much money to spend. So to fix that problem, just for y'all, I've combined them all into one single bundle for the price of just a few fast food meals. That way, if you're interested in getting access to my freelancing course, my five-star material creation add-on, and all the rest of my products combined for a fraction of what they normally would be, then head to the description, check it out, and I promise you, you will not regret it. I'm gradually raising the price, so if you want access now while it's low, then head over there before it gets too late. Either way, let's get back to the interview. Well, for everybody watching this, do you have any last like words of wisdom or pieces of advice? Yeah, I have two. One is 
learn blender and do it now because it's the most fun thing you can do ever um i don't think there's anybody who somewhat enjoys 3d or games or stuff like that or movies maybe in general who doesn't like blender so it's well worth learning so look into that and the other one is if you ever suffer from imposter syndrome which is a very common thing that even i still run into daily just create stuff and put it out there make stuff show it to the world, join a Discord server like mine, share your work, get feedback, get comments from people. It'll help you get over your imposter syndrome and grow. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you doing this interview a ton. Yeah, no worries. And to all y'all watching this video right now, if you got some extra cash to spend, check out my new bundle. And obviously, this goes without saying, but go to Kaizen's channel right now. Subscribe to his stuff, because bro, he's genuinely one of the best content creators out there in the Blender space. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.